All right. All right, guys, welcome to another Influencer Project Jam session today. Super pumped to have Melanie Marshall, one of our IFS or Ignition clients. Um, she's just been through the first three months and has had some like ups and downs throughout this experience. And I'm really looking forward to her sharing her experience, exactly where she was, what happened, and then where she got to and what's now available to her based on the action and activity that she's taken over that period of time. But Melanie, I'm going to open it up to you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, who you are and what you what you do and who you help. Yeah, in short, I create trust for change. So by, by that, I really focus on the employee experience within organisations and finding ways to improve that so that people can, can do the things that they're employed to do with joy. So that's, that's me in a nutshell. I've always been an improver by default. And I came to the Influencer Project because despite having written a book and despite having lots of experience, I had totally no idea around how to create leads, how to go from having a good, engaging conversation to getting any kind of a sale. And so I was really lost in that space and I was desperate for help. I'm, I'm ex-military, so I really appreciate systems. <laughs> And I know that I didn't have any and you, your team seemed to be quite structured around how to create a system that I could then, you know, pretty much rinse and repeat on and then scale and grow with me as my business grew. And as much as I sound really confident and successful, I was not that when I, <laughs> when I walked in your door. When I walked in your door, I was in a world of pain. I had unexpectedly lost my job. Um, like a week before Christmas, I had no real leads and I was really starting from scratch as a startup. So despite the 20 plus years of experience that I had in doing what I do, I had zero experience around how to set myself up um, to become, to become a, a business or even an independent consultant. So um yeah, that's that's where I sort of started, and uh, <laughs> that's why I'm here. <laughs> so yeah, you were you were you kind of got forced into this position. Oh, yeah, I did. I got forced into this position. So I'd already done a lot of work. Like I said, I'd, I'd done the work to write a book for positioning, and I knew that that wasn't going to make me the money alone that you don't write a book to become a world-class author and make millions and millions of dollars of sales you write it to be able to position yourself as knowing something and differentiating you from the hundreds of thousands to millions of coaches and other people out there on the market so as much as I'd done the thought work I didn't know how to convert it into something that would be financially sustainable and as a significant breadwinner for our family having lost my job it was devastating and it was unexpected and I had also moved into state so I didn't have any local connections I was going and applying for all kinds of different jobs and not hearing anything anything back and I'd pretty much exhausted all of my savings to the point where I, I you know I borrowed some money from my son who was like 12 <laughs> and his his little trust fund in order to actually afford to get on the program because I knew that I had to do something different and I couldn't do it myself so um, yeah when I started IFS the first thing that was really really useful was letting go of what was in my head and gamifying putting connection requests and lead requests out the recommendations around, you know, getting really clear around who you are, how you serve was, was valuable, but then how do, you, how do you connect with somebody in a way that doesn't feel sleazy, doesn't feel salesy, but is still very intentional in the sense that this is a business, it's not a charity, and I'm not here for a great conversation where we go, that was nice and, and moving on with your life. So... That was what I found really useful. The, the tracker, as much as I hated <laughs> the notion of that, because initially I thought it was duplicating effort between a CRM that I'd bought, it, the tracker actually really gave me really good discipline around 
exactly who and I who I should be putting into my CRM and and where to where to put my efforts. So yeah, that that was invaluable. So I went from you know having oh, one and a half thousand sort of connections on LinkedIn, most of who just really didn't mean any, mean anything or I didn't know how to convert or, or, or get them into a sales type conversation to having a very intentional reach out strategy around who am I going to connect with? Why am I going to connect with them? And then when I do connect with them, how am I going to have a meaningful conversation that's going to add value to them, but then will magnetically attract them to me to say, I want to work with you and, I, and I'm willing to pay you money in order, in order to do that. So your system does work. I did have, because I was also trying to find permanent, like not permanent, but some, some bread and butter employment while I was building the business. I, I had a month where I, I was just totally in, in, <laughs> ineffective in not using the system. But when I looked at the system and the first month where I was totally focused on the influencer stuff, you know, that, that month I had... I think my figures were something like I had 50% of the people that I was going out for came back to me and of the people came back, they were all a fit. They were all a fit for, for people who I could work for. They were all interested in what I, what I had to offer. Not all of them converted to sales, but I'm really, really confident in the, the way that I approached them and the connection that we made via the LinkedIn system and certainly the brainstorming sessions that was really valuable. That that I'm very confident that at some point they'll come back to me and they'll go, hey, I remember we had a really great conversation. Um, things have sort of changed in our space. Can you come and, and do some work with us here? So I think that the, that sort of opening the door and being coming from a service perspective, which is very much the message that you guys send, really connects with me. It sounds like you you kind of ran with it. And like you said, there was a bit of a lag there because you kind of went for a month and then it kind of dropped off. But mm. if I was to go back to prior to you actually starting, because you're in a pretty pretty tough place just personally, oh, financially. Gosh, hey, I, I was I was what? crying on the floor in my bedroom with the door closed most days for probably a good a good couple of months. And and even when I had started the influencer program, there was. I was still going through that pain and trying to be energetic and light. <laughs> I remember we had some pretty real conversations at the very beginning, but my, my real curiosity is around, it's like out of the infinite number of possibilities for you to like choose someone to actually work with, why, like you had to pull yourself out of that to then go, you know, these are the guys that are going to help me. How did you make that decision? It was the structure. Um, it, it was the, the no BS type approach that you've got and the way in which you gamify that, that process of, of going out there and, and just putting, just request, put a request out there, you know, refine who your perfect future clients are, put a request out there. If they say yes, awesome. If they say no, don't worry about it because you're going to get plenty of no's. Don't take it personally and just keep putting the requests out there. So I think caring less about um, whether somebody says yes or no to a connection request was one of the most powerful, I guess, turning points for me that I had. And then having a system to go, okay, well, you then, when you, when you hit connection and they accept your connection, here's the template, here's a, here's a style or a templated message that you can send to here. Then here's, a, here's another sort of message that you can send to, I guess, boost that conversation to say, hey, we connected. Are you still interested in actually walking through my approach? If you're not, that's fine. But yeah, it, it's, it was that notion of follow the bouncing ball and then just hit next mm. um, at, without expectation yeah. um, and then mo move on. Um, so you're not overthinking it. You just just doing the work and it's and it really is time in the game and I'm very very early in the game I'm definitely not where I want or need to be just yet but I'm a hell of a lot further along than where I was um, three months ago and, and even one month ago I mean I still managed to get um, a couple of sales 
within the last three months of of influence on her alone. And I would have, I, I did more in the three months than what I had done, like the, the previous 12 months of me trying to rely on just word of mouth people that I knew. And, and those sales didn't come from anybody that I knew. Those sales came directly from the, the system and the structure that I put in place from your expertise and knowledge. So that paid for the program itself. So I got, I got the money back for that program. Um, and it also started giving me confidence that this actual system works and I, I just have to stay in the game. Yeah, what, um, how many sales did you end up making? What was the, where did you actually get to? Like, as and again, like we stated before, is that we had a conversation before we jumped onto this call and it was more about the, if you had played this full out for three months, where would you be versus the way in which yeah. you played it and then what the possibility is for the next three, six months, knowing, yeah. you know, now. Like, and that's what, we'll get to that later. But yeah. what did you get from that? That yeah. That now I, yeah, I, I didn't. I haven't gone back and looked at the exact dollar figures, but I know that I did at least thirty thousand dollars worth of sales from one month of really focused work. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it is, and um, and I think because I, I don't, I haven't acknowledged how incredible that was because of the pain that I had gone through and because I I I was in so much financial hurt that I'd had to kind of catch up on that I don't feel that I've quite broken even because of other stuff but but had I've come in had I've come into the program earlier before I'd lost my job um, I probably wouldn't have been worried about losing the job because I'd already be you know, yeah. on, on the A train. Um, and now that I've got a couple of days worth of work a week while I continue to build out and play this game, I've, I'm confident that that it's now in the right... I'm now back on track and that things will, will start to sort of grow and expand. Yeah, like the... I think that's... Um, when you said that and just the story that you tell from where you were to where you are now, that kind of gives me chills it's 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 really it's really neat to hear because um it, it's you often get stuck in the whole the doing a thing and not getting the outcome or you're, you you you've got a whole bunch of life going on but in essence it's like they're, they're one and the same and you started to kind of transition from that to this yeah. which is starting to see results so from that how would you say your your business and life are different in relation to when you first started uh it's it's the making it a game as opposed to a, a oh, I've got to I've got to do this I've got to do that I'm I'm not successful I think I think there's a lightness to it, there's a lightness to it now whereas before there was a heaviness it was like oh I've got to try and figure out how to make some sales or oh I don't have anybody in in my sales funnel like oh, like it it all just felt so overwhelming and like more work on top of the work that I was already doing just to build up like my service offer, writing. Like it was almost like on, on the surface, if you looked at my website and even now, if you look on my website, you go, Oh wow, she's got a book. She's an author. I look like I'm the famous, most famous person that nobody knows about or cares about. And and the passion certainly wasn't paying the bills. So I had gone from feeling almost like a bit of a fraud. Um, But what, and, and instead of beating myself up about that, it was a case of, well, look, put this system in, you can't get any worse. Um, I can't go backwards. Um, the only thing that I can do is move forwards. And even if my expectations were eventually like were quite low, is oh, if I could get you know 150 people in my database, like that would be amazing. Yeah. So, and, and the expectation and, and the game is you know put out 20 requests every day, like mm. in a week. You, you just kind of go wow, all right, I was thinking way too small. And, and I, I think the, the other thing that I really appreciate with the Influencer Project is you see more potential in me than I do because I'm too busy beating myself up over the vision that I have and the gap 
in between. And the irony is, is that that's the work that I do for organisations, right? I help them fill the gap. But, <laughs> but, when, but when it's you, um, you kind of need somebody external to help you actually see what's possible because, you know, you've done it. You've done the work. You know, you know how, to, how to play this game. This is a game that I don't know how to play and I need your help to be able to play it. Yeah, and that's, and that's why we start at the very beginning. Module number one is, you know, it, it starts with belief, right? And we often forget yeah. that. And even the best coaches in the world have coaches. So I know. It's, <laughs> it's, coach without a coach, you kind of got to go, ooh, wait a second, where are you getting your info from? What's going on here? But um, so now now that that's, that's happened, what can you see is now possible that you couldn't see before? You just said a second ago that... Um, we're seeing more potential in you than you might be seeing at this point in time or were you were seeing. Yeah. What can you now see that wasn't available to you before? Yeah, I, I can actually see how easy it is for me to have really good, what I would call clicking conversations, where you just meet somebody, you immediately click with them, and it doesn't even feel like a sales conversation. It's a case of I like you, you like me, you've got a problem that you need to solve and it's it I can see that I can help you fix that it really is just a natural then agreement around okay it's agreed that I can help you fix it how do we want to how do we want to work from here so if nothing else the thing that I couldn't see before was I couldn't see how easy it was to actually get people into a sales funnel mm. <laughs> I I couldn't see how easy it actually was for me to have the conversations when I had done some work in the background around, uh, I think there was an intensive, there was a tip intensive that I did just before coming into um, the, the fast start or the not like the fast start program. And that was amazing because I had um, a massive head of all of this stuff that I could do and previously when I was having conversations, I must have come out like word soup. Mm. <laughs> I do a bit of this, a bit of this, a bit of this. Yeah, like trying to refine it down to now I talk about I've got a system, I've got a triangle of things that I work through for mm. myself, you know. These are the sorts of things that that are that um, that we can brainstorm about. Which which bit pains you the most that you'd like some support on? So, yeah, what I couldn't see before was that I do have a unique value proposition. Um, I do have the capacity to really easily connect with people at their level and connect in a way that would generate sales. And that if I play the game and I just follow the process the leads and the work will come quite organically without me having to really be stressing or worrying about it. So treating this like a game and the importance of treating it like a game was something that I didn't see before and hence why I'm a lot lighter about it Yeah. now. Yeah, it's easy to, it's, it, and, and I think the, the key to that is, is that now you have that system to track and measure everything. It's not rolling around in your head. It's, yes. it's, ones and zeros on a page. So that lightness automatically comes and that applies to just about anything. It's like, if it's in your head, put it down on the page and just yeah. let the, the effortlessness come. Having said that, I've got one last question for you. If mm -hmm. you were speaking to someone or someone who was thinking about starting this journey with the Influencer Project or even making a decision just to grow their business more powerfully without having to overthink it and think that they can make it happen themselves in super quick time, what would you tell them? <laughs> Just just get it done. Just the reason you're looking for something is because you haven't done it yet. And if you can't trust yourself, you've got to put trust and faith in somebody who already has a system that works. And that's it, really. I mean, you've just got to accept that you've got to make the investment of doing things differently. Because if you don't do things differently, you're going to get the same result that you've always had. Yeah, I hate that the truth. 
<laughs> oh, that's awesome. Hey, I really appreciate everything that you shared with us there, like especially the the beginning of it. And that's that's pretty real for a lot of people. Um, I know I've been in positions like that before. I know I've seen, you know, Rana and our team also play in situations like that and countless other clients as well. Um, I know that'll be hugely valuable for people to listen to, to go, you know what, it doesn't matter where you are right now. There's, um, there's an option here. You just got to choose it for yourself, right? Yep, we are all human and mm. you can't hide it, so you might as well embrace it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, and you open the door like you have for other people to go, oh, shit, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, so yes. If, if, if I had a before and an after photo, I would definitely show you those and I'd be happy for you to post them because <laughs> that before photo was pretty ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not done yet. I'm not no, done yet. Just get warmed up. That's right. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm just stretching. I'm just yeah. stretching. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Mel. Hey, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And I uh, can't wait to see what happens in the next three to 12 months and what you create. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Max. No worries.